Hi RHPC kids! Thank you for joining me for another Sunday lesson learning about different characters in the Bible. So we first started with Abraham. Last week we learned about Adam and this week our character is Daniel. So Daniel is known for many many things which I hope some of you remember but let's get into it. So when we talk about Daniel, what do we know about him? Daniel was born into a royal family. He was known for being young and having a sharp mind. He was young when he was taken by Nebuchadnezzar, which some of you may remember the story. He was friends with three young men, if you remember their names. It was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they were all thrown into the fiery furnace when they all experienced God's protection and they came out the furnace untouched. You guys remember that story? I always remember that story because it was amazing. So this is just a little couple facts about Daniel, but let's find out some more and you guys might remember some of these stories. Daniel was known for being faithful to God. He refused to compromise his faith for anything or anyone. God gave Daniel the ability to interpret dreams. He would interpret the dreams for the king, which made him very happy and they became very, very close friends. Some enemies didn't like Daniel being close to the king. They wanted to find a problem to get him in trouble. They tricked the king into making a rule that says all had to bow down to him. If people refused to worship him, they would be thrown into a den of lions. The king was angry because Daniel wouldn't bow down or worship him. Daniel said he only worshipped God. The king didn't want to send Daniel to the den of lions, but he had to because it was the rule. Daniel knew that whatever happened, God would protect him. So Daniel was sent into the lion's den. But Daniel prayed and believed and knew that God would protect him. The king wanted to see what happened to Daniel, so he went back and he found Daniel in the den of the lions, but they weren't hurting him. Daniel was not afraid to speak God's truth. He knew the truth and he wanted to share it with others and he always believed that God would protect him. Our Bible verse for today is found in Psalms 37, 3, and it says, Trust the Lord and do good things. Live in the land and practice being faithful. And that's what we're learning in our story today, right? We learned about being faithful and trusting in God through anything that happens in our lives. And even though right now we're kind of going through a difficult situation, but we are trusting in the Lord and we're believing that he will do good things because he does everything good for us. Daniel is an example of someone who has a personal dedication to God, meaning they have a personal relationship with God and they're living their life for God. He shows us an example of what it's like to live for God and give everything to God. Even when you're living in a world where people around you or friends around you might not believe in God or believe in different things. But Daniel always was trusting in the Lord. Through Daniel's stories, we learn that God has authority over everything and over all the kings of the land that there ever was. Daniel went through many different kings, but even going through all those kings, God was above all of them. He was in control of everything and he could do anything. Nothing was impossible for him. And we learned that through all those stories, just like Nebuchadnezzar, he threw them in the furnace, but even that couldn't stop God from protecting them and from being in control. All these stories of Daniel show us that God is faithful to us and Daniel was very faithful to him. He always trusted in him. He prayed throughout the days. He was sharing God's word. 
He was always faithful to God and God was always faithful to him, protecting him and keeping him safe from all that he went through. And that just shows us how faithful God is to us. And sometimes something I've learned is even when I'm not completely faithful to God and I ask for forgiveness, he is still faithful to me. And I think that's something amazing about the God that we serve. When we are going through our daily lives, we want to be obedient to God, meaning we want to listen to him and do what he says. And we want to stand strong in his word and know his word so that we're able to share it with other people. Sometimes the devil doesn't want us to receive our prayers answered because he wants us to think that God doesn't listen to us. But God does listen to us and it's our job to keep praying and keep believing and reading your Bible. It really, really helps us to create a relationship with Jesus. Read Ephesians 6, 10 to 18 to find out the six pieces of armor that God wants us to wear to help us fight the battle against the enemy. If you guys can remember all six pieces of this armor, I will give you a prize. Tape it, tape yourself or get your mom or your dad or your sibling to tape you saying all six pieces of armor send it to my email bridget at rhbc.ca and you will receive a prize for this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and I hope you learned some things from Daniel and also from everyone else that we're learning so far and hopefully you knew some of these stories but hopefully you're learning some more and remember to be faithful to God, to pray, to read the word and know that God is faithful to us when we're going through tough times, when, whatever it is, he's always faithful. And I'll see you guys next Sunday for a new Bible character.